Let's go, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to a very special emergency episode of the LA Poker Roundup. It is March 30th, <clears throat> uh, and it is episode 30. So we needed to we needed to call a special session of the LA Poker Roundup this morning. Thank you for joining us uh, bright and early today because of the uh, crazy, crazy announcements that happened this past week, and we didn't feel like one episode was enough to cover everything. <laughs> so um, today we will be talking all things uh, World Series Poker Circuit over at Commerce. Everything we know, everything we've heard, we're going to mm -hmm. drink the tears of all the whiny Vegas pros. It's going to be great. Uh, but before we get into that, there were a couple really cool uh, results from around from around the poker world for some LA-ish locals. So we just want to quick give some props out. So let's start up at the uh, shooting star, I believe it's another rising star uh, up at the Bay 101. So congratulations to Andrew Ostapachenko. Uh, who I believe began or begins his, he calls this area home. We see him down at the bike quite frequently at the bigger stuff. We see him at all the larger events around here. So way to go, Andrew. Congratulations. Yeah, good job, buddy. Good player. Uh, and the other quick result that we saw since our last episode, which was just a couple days ago, is that local legend Sammy Beshahed has made the trip over to the circuit event speaking of circuit events up at the horseshoe and he's playing in the main event up there and i saw from sammy's twitter that he has got a bag so he's ready to go he's going to be in that day too so we are wishing sammy luck up there bring another ring and trophy home for us around here so way to go sammy good job sammy and that is an absolutely stacked field but sammy is no stranger to stacked fields and i'm sure he's going to navigate it just fine yeah i mean sammy's the one they got to worry about that's how I mean. <laughs> you're trapped in here with me. I'm exactly. Not in here with you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly the way it goes. Um, so yeah. What's but, up, what's up Filipino James in chat? Oh, nice. We got more people in chat. I love it. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. So the reason we scheduled our, um, emergency session for so early in the morning was, as you know, the 1100 is going on over at the bike, which is the rare, rare non-quantum tournament that they're running this series. So we were really um, psyched up for that. We wanted to make sure that we would have maximum ability to get there. And so we wanted to start early enough to still be able to get over there, even though I found myself a bag yesterday. I ran crazy good, super lucky. I uh, bagged a little under average, but we got through on the first shot. So I actually can go back to bed after this. Uh, Derek, however, um, we still needed to run it at nine because he's got to go get that bag. He's, his run bad-ish wasn't isn't quite done, but it's all right. I, I got faith. <laughs> it's good. Faith. It's going to be over sooner. Actually, yesterday, I, mean, I was so card dead, but then I got a lot of chips off of just like two hands, and I have fortunately for uh, Paul, Paul win. Um, I a little bit set over set him in a really big pot, but then I ended up losing with aces, uh, you know, with about maybe... 10 15 people left to go in the day so yeah back at it today yeah i cracked kings um with like 15 people left in my flight which was pretty key nice. to keep me alive so nice it's all right paul's gonna live he just got like fifth place in the mega he'll be all right <laughs> yeah he just sort of shrugged it off and was like oh a cooler and he just sort of left the table and i was like later buddy yeah i mean what, what are you gonna do that's just <clears throat> okay so um <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about what we're here to talk about i mean come on we are all super excited about the Commerce's announcement here. The Commerce, holy cow, World Series Poker Circuit um, partnership. But, uh, I don't even know where to begin. Um, so this came as a shock to a lot of people. Now, um, I had been hearing from, say, DJ before he left and some other murmurs that they'd been working on getting the circuit here all along. Uh, it was kind of a last-minute announcement, kind of a last-minute surprise that they were going to get the Tournament of Champions. But if you recall, we were teasing and hinting and saying that we were hearing those rumors a couple months ago as well. So it really sucks for uh, other, you know, for all the people who are qualified out there that they waited so long to do this announcement. But it, it you know, that must just have been a side effect of the legal stuff, right? Of all the, um, of all the contracts and regulations, parts and yeah. whatever, right? Because there's, they've. Yeah. I, they've had this in the works for many months, for many months. It, it really did seem to drag on. I think everyone was like waiting for the announcement and we were getting teased by, you know, maybe some, the, at least the officials of the commerce that do talk to us that, mm -hmm. you know, it was coming. Um, so 
the fact that they were telling about us like so long ago, I think everyone expected this to go through. So I don't know what last minute negotiations were happening, or maybe they got tied up with all the crazy regulations in California. Who knows? Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad it's here, but definitely wish we had a little bit more time to, to prepare for this kind of thing. But yeah. 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 No, we're all super excited to uh we're super excited that it is coming la is gonna be we are so stoked i'm just concerned that this is enough time to let everybody else plan <clears throat> and come here and it came so quickly yeah. as we've seen the reaction has just been there's been a lot of anger or there's been a lot of not about the circuit of course but there's been a lot of people pissed off about the tournament of champions coming here which you know they have a yeah. lot of good points but they also have a lot of you know, kind of suck it up, you whiny baby moments. But uh, let's start with the good points, right? I mean, obvious or they're 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 valid points that we totally, I totally sympathize with. I I don't have a ring, you know. I I I'm not invited because, as we all know here locally, this year the bike didn't run any, and last year they didn't run any in December, so we really didn't have any chances to win rings if you stayed yeah. local. To LA. I, st- I I said that as soon as you, you threw out the rumor, I was like, this makes no sense. Nobody in LA has, hey, if somebody in LA got a ring, they didn't get it here in the last year, but we can't play online. There were no circuit events, so we're making everyone else travel here to play. I was like, mm-hmm. they wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> um, but then to your point also, not now that they have, I'm kind of laughing at the people who are complaining I know, about right? it. <laughs> yeah, now they are. <laughs> but, you know, now yeah. we're going to have 18 um, shots to get rings. They're going to be giving away yeah. 18 rings at this thing. Now, um, as for as for reasons why, you know, I watched the Salper or the uh, Only Friends podcast, you know, Berkey's podcast yesterday on my way back from the casino, and they spent a good amount of time speculating as to why this partnership came up, talking about what's going on. And uh, first off, you know, hey, any of those guys, if they're listening, you know, I gotta send, I gotta send uh, my my man Brian Lamanna a, a direct message. They have all the details wrong. They haven't been here since Landon came like two years ago to the last circuit, or I think, I think it was a circuit or to the WPT. It was the WPT. The last time legends was a WPT Landon was down yeah. here. I actually, um, I actually got lucky and busted them out of the, the tournament we played. Um, but uh, they have all the details wrong about what's going on in LA. They're like, and people in the chat were telling them wrong. They were telling them they were running quantums at Commerce. They were telling them that uh, they have no idea how many people were coming to our events. They're talking about how, I mean, they're talking about how bad LAPC is now, which obviously it's very bad compared to when it was the WPT. But they just, you know, the numbers are all off. They, they, they've got, they got all the details wrong. So come on. I think we need to get over there and get on the phone with those guys and straighten them out because they're just kind of, they're just telling everybody wrong. They're making us look even worse than we are, right? I mean, yeah, LA, dude, we're, we're coming do, on do the come basic, up. Yeah, do a basic research like me and Ty speculate about rumors and we talk about rumors, but we don't get numbers wrong, right? So just, uh, you know, maybe we're running a podcast, especially one as big as Only Friends. Do, do, do your research. Yeah, I mean, uh, Berkey's just, he, he seems like he's just so... He I'm has to pick, man. well, no, he has the old LAPC so romanticized. He did well in it. He remembers. He loves it. And it went, and then when it went downhill, yeah. like it's just like he's just done with LA. And it's just like yeah, that yeah. everything's terrible. So uh, I mean, you know, to, to the uh, I mean, there's some validity to their points, right? So we're making the same points about how we're oh, down. Absolutely. Um, I mean, de- I definitely still get the numbers right. And you know, obviously, I I I think even if they're getting the numbers wrong, probably the spirit. I didn't listen to the podcast, but the spirit of what they're saying is probably right. Oh like, yeah, they aren't. Um, that committed to poker, it feels like, except for the commerce now, seems yep. to be turning it around, right? Right, right? Do people complain about how our, our uh, card rooms are aging? Very true, right? I mean, the bike is doing a nice remodel, but not for any of the poker areas. So, yeah, um, we, we, we get it. We get it. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so one of the things they did speculate, though, that uh, could make some sense is that they think that there's a good chance that this partnership and, you know, the tournament champions coming – a lot of this is related to and has a connection to the fact that Commerce also has now Live at Commerce, Bally, right? Which is GG. And GG has that strong mm. partnership with World Series of Poker, right? So that was something that I I, I definitely think could be, uh, you know, could really be um, a, a piece of this because um, we're also going to be getting several things streamed for the uh for the circuit so wayne was on a thread kitty cool um put out some kind of promo tweet about the world series so wayne responded uh that the final tables are going to be on bailey live poker here and uh, mr patessa asked which ones and he says at least two ring events and the tournament of champions so Nice. You know, if I had to guess, probably the main event and maybe the, main, the high the roller main. or something. I mean, if not the high roller, <clears throat> maybe the homecoming just because it's so big. There's but, a there's a high roller? Uh, just Yeah, after the main, there's a 2200, they call it. Oh, nice. Yep. 
Yep. So um, I volunteered us to commentate, uh, if so. But I also heard only friends that he, I believe they said they think that the, uh, like the official, um, or the, the you know, like they, he, I thought he heard that Platt and, and um, Hanks might be coming down to do some. some nice. So that That'd would be, be awesome. great too. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Then we can just focus on playing on those tables, right? So, but speaking of Commerce Live, <clears throat> um, for those of you out there, I think this may be one of the first times we're saying it. We, uh, your hosts of the LA Poker Roundup, will actually be doing the commentary on uh, Commerce Live next Sunday April 7th. Yeah. So tune in over <clears throat> there. Tune in. Yeah. Tune in over tune there. In we will, you'll, you'll hear if we have any talent call in the action. And I think what you're going to end up getting is, um, you know, uh, roughly a, a, a slower paced four hour podcast over there. Cause get in the chat <laughs> talk with us. If you get some interesting topics, we'll, we'll chat them over with you guys, chat them over with Wayne, with uh, Cairo, whoever walks in the booth. And then we'll cover the action when the action pops up. So hop in. Jesse it totally agrees with us. He thinks that's a hundred percent why they were able to get that. So uh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and I'm just excited, man. If we can get if we can get that stream room used. But hey, listen. Also, I'm gonna tell Wayne this when we go over there. If you're streaming final tables of tournaments, that room has a huge gal galley or gallery. Like if you knock move that wall, there's the big upper bar area with like tables and chairs and stuff. Build bleachers or let people put put up a rope and let people sit there and watch just like they do at yeah. the just like they do at the um you know the real world series. World series. You have yep. a rail. Let people come in. Let people have a rail for their for their final table. Man, it will be great. Yeah. Get some great energy. It's that. gonna be amazing. We have enough room in that that ta that that studio is yep. big enough. Just take those we push those things to the wall. We used to have that for the WPT here where there was uh, just seating at both of the Commerce and at the bike. Uh, so you could just rail. Um, definitely bring that back. Yeah, when I've seen some of the old coverage there, it's great. It, you can't even tell it's at Commerce or uh, wherever. Um, yeah. And it's funny watching the old ones back because you see a bunch of our regs. You yeah. Know, just sitting in, in the crowd. It's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially now. Isn't that awesome? Um, I, yeah. I think... <clears throat> Where was I? I was playing. I was playing like a lucky lady really late at night once at, in the cash room in the back there, and they were just playing like really old WPT streams. And I see Commerce up there a couple times and stuff. It's like, yeah. oh man, that's what we the need. The glory days. That's what the we glory need, days. and it needs to look like so, that. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're you know we're getting back there. We're getting back there. So <clears throat> this is why we're so excited about this. You know, you've heard me and Ty with all of our kind of griping about you know LA poker moving in the wrong direction, but this is one hundred percent in the right direction. So kudos to the Commerce for uh, for getting this. Yeah, I I mean we got to get out there. We got to pull numbers. I really hope the whole South, um, you know, SoCal area, San Diego, come and represent. You know, uh, you know, um, Big Kev and uh, and um, shoot, yeah. and all all you guys. You know, Anastasia, rally your troops. Get everybody up here. We got to get everyone up here firing bullets. We got to make this a success. Um, so that's you know that's kind of some of the cool stuff uh that I, that we've heard on that end uh let's kind of talk a little bit about the uproar about the tournament of champions right uh i i think have you ever did you play in that a couple of years ago right you got a ring two yep. years ago three years ago so yeah, that was ago, yeah. so you played in it when it was still in vegas right yep yep you, I, I, you probably don't remember at this point but when did they announce like officially what day it would be you know what that it would be at vegas like did they announce that as soon as they put the schedule I think it was... out was they put that I remember looking for my name on the list like halfway through the series while I was there. But I also want to say that, yeah, you know what? I don't remember. I don't remember if it was already sitting on the schedule or not. Gotcha. <clears throat> so one of the, uh, <laughs> one of the, one of the, um, biggest complaints, right. For, from everybody is that it, uh, it's, it's always been at Vegas. It's supposed to be at Vegas. It's, it needs to be at Vegas. Right. But, um, so, so true. <laughs> Props to yeah. Chad Holloway. You know, he's one of the the big... Well, uh, there's two, right? Kevin Mathers and Chad Holloway are the ones who've been taking a lot of heat from the announcement because the Poker News guy and the... Um, uh, G, what is it? The Hended Mob or the GPI type uh, news guy. So they've been taking a lot of heat from the announcements because, as we all know, um, the World Series Poker, like, uh, was it Jack Jack Effel, right? Like, he doesn't tweet, so... Um, but Chad points out that... That is definitely not the case. This is where it has been before then, you know, the tournament of champions. It's been in Vegas for the last two years, 
And then, you know, it was online for the, the COVID year probably. Uh, but then before that, it was at Cherokee. It's been in Atlantic City. It's been in New Orleans, you know. It's been in, it was in Vegas again then. But it's been everywhere, right? So it's not, it definitely hasn't always been in Vegas. So that part of the complaint, eh, not really, not really correct. Um, now, there are many other parts of the complaint. So the thing that is really sucky is that, as we've kind of mentioned already, this only was announced last week. Right, so this happens. This tournament is in uh, May twentieth, twentieth ish, right? Something like that. May late, late teens at worst. So what are we talking? Uh, you get a full month in like two weeks. So like you got six weeks to plan your trip and to get here and to to go. Right. So that I mean that stinks. And as to uh, what they're what they what I heard on the other show is that a lot of these ring winners are actually international as well because GG's been running ring yep. events around the world now. Yeah. For people who are around the world, the location doesn't matter so much as the timing, I feel like, because they're going to be coming very far no matter what. Uh, the people on the East Coast, once again, I feel like the biggest fumble aside from... So so the announcement timing sucks. It should have come out when the schedule for the World Series came out at the latest, right? And they knew it. They just didn't have the contract signed and sealed because when that schedule came out, like we, you know, I had been telling you, uh, we had known that this is this is like 80, 90% going to happen back then. They just didn't have everything signed and sealed and ready to, to announce. But so that's, that's awful. Like really, ideally in my mind, they should have pushed it to next year with it coming out so late, but they, I mean, they put so much money and effort they couldn't. Um, but for me, you know what, <clears throat> for, yeah, for, for all the, the, the negatives of this, I, I, I do feel like LA needs this, like a punch you know, we, we need like a punch to get started, and this is the punch to get started. Not only did we land this series, but now we're establishing the mm -hmm. TOC here. Um, I'm pretty sure they were just like, well, you know, it's just a hop, skip, drive over to Vegas. So we're just going to do one of these, you know, and yeah, yeah. just go right to Vegas. But to, to people are complaining about that, you know, I, I, I would sort of agree. Like, it's sort of a connecting flight, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, like, I, we like we get it, though. Yeah, but if they, the, the thing that got me is like, that part is i love that part is the pitch we're so close but then why did they leave like a dead week between the series and this right this should really honestly the tournament champion should be happening right over top of is the opening event still the employees event the casino employees event um no, no actually i think it's not i think um something else kicks oh, it off and okay. not the employee event well, but look, I, i'm gonna double check here. in any event the tournament of champions you should be able to finish the tournament of champions finish the day one even and then take off to Vegas and it should be like day one of the world series like that day this all yeah. this a dead week is what is really a pain in the butt here because you know I you know I lived on the east coast I moved out here some number of years ago like uh seven years ago or so and if I had been on the east coast and I won a ring I wouldn't give a damn if it was in LA or Vegas personally because yeah. a when it's in Vegas it's still a kind of a crapshoot whether or not I even wanted to come for those events like if I was planning you know it wasn't but when you played the tournament champions it wasn't during the monster stack right no it was at the very end it was like the last thing that was happening yeah so you had to make a special trip right I mean you you I did yeah I did so I had to go back out there I, I almost didn't go but it, yeah exactly you almost didn't go and you're in LA so if I'm on the east yeah. if I'm on the east coast like I'm like oh well unless it's exactly during this one event I was gonna go to like let's say I made let's say I mm. lived on the east coast and I and I made the um that tournament last year well I only went to go play in the um Colossus in the main event so if it wasn't exactly those weekends I was making a special trip so it's like who cares I'm gonna go to LA mm. I'm gonna go to I'm going to go That's to Vegas. an interesting point. I'm pretty sure they were thinking about a, a stacking. So, by the way, it's four days from the World Series. The very first event is the 5K Champions Reunion. Um, oh, okay. It's uh, on, on May 28th. And then the, the, the actually the casino employees on the same day. So, they're both on, on the, the kickoff day. Um, but, yeah, I never really thought about that. Like, basically, I would play other things around the monster stack and other things around, you know, like the, the, the millionaire maker, right? right? If I'm out there for that. Um, and I'm just sort of saying, well, if I'm just there, then I'm going to play, but I'm not going to special go out there for something. So that is a good point. Like maybe to, again, to our point about catering, right, to, to nine to fivers, like that's probably the way they should be thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, that's, and and I think a big part of, another big part of pushing to get that here is this is Commerce, the first circuit event at Commerce, and the hope would be that 300 I mean, there, there's what, like 700, 800 people qualified for this thing. First off, Commerce wouldn't be able to accommodate them all. That ballroom, like they're going to have to put 
tables in the in the um, halls and start and have some of the flights be downstairs if a decent number of people come because that room only can accommodate um, what is the highest table number that that you're in there? Doesn't it only go up to like eighty or something? Uh, Actually, I don't know. I remember, like back in LAPC, we used to have overflow. I remember that we it was like in like uh, or sixty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember we we're like out in a tent, like in the in the um, you know, yeah. like that smoking oh, area. Oh wow, I wonder it if was, they put it in was, the tent. Jeez, yeah. yeah. T- uh, Chat, yeah. help us out if you know the highest table number in the ballroom while we're uh, while we're thinking. But like, my, my point is, you can only fit, you know, you can only fit probably five hundred players in there. So if somehow everyone came, like they wouldn't be able to accommodate them, you know. Yeah, at least right. not in the ballroom. That's, that's interesting. I mean, I do wonder what the overflow situation is going to be because even like you know, well, we, obviously we're going to talk about the schedule in a minute, but that yeah. house warning one's going to be. Here oh, absolutely. This. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so so that's. I mean, so the point is though, if if three hundred people, five hundred <clears> people come, they're hoping they come a week early, a week and a half early, and they play all the circuit events too, right? Just to make a trip yeah. out of it. So that's that's <clears> part <throat> of the hope there, which I also I hope that's the case. Um, but if it's not the case, uh, even if it's not the case, I think there shouldn't be that gap between because then they could sell it much easier to people like, look, yeah. guys, it's it's like uh, a $70 plane ride from Burbank to uh, to Vegas. Just do it. Right. And then the other thing right. is, um, is, yeah, is for me, like my, having lived on the East Coast, I made the trip to Vegas once for World Series. It's a big it's a big uh, thing to organize and plan. And if they yeah. put the tournament champions at the end of the year, like they did when you went. I probably would have skipped it too because like what am i yeah. gonna do i played the main i'm out i have to wait a week and a half to play tournament champions i don't there's nothing i'm gonna play there's like right. there's like omaha events and high rollers or something i'm whatever you know so right yeah so i mean i think that that's why all these people whining about i have to make a special trip blah 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 it's like you're gonna make a special trip anyways and if you weren't then you just live in vegas or you 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 go for like three weeks so you should be able to afford to come here for a minute however i do yeah, think actually, you know what just for all people complaining, just come play the main event right before. It's going to be huge. Seriously. And the high roller. Oh, Jesse says 480 yeah. players can fit in the ballroom. So if, you know, so wow. that, that's oh, it. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that, that, that it was that small because it feels big. But, I mean, that's right. I guess it's like less than 500 people. Crazy. Yeah. So um, everyone, you know, so everyone can't even fit, right? So that's, I mean, <laughs> so that's, I mean, that's, that's that one, right? So then the other thing about the um, complaint is that there, I guess last year or some at some point in the year, for all of the, for all of the advertising for the tournament champions, there was a press release that, that said, you know, oh, the tournament champions join us at in Vegas, right during the during the twenty four series. But then I guess Chad points out, well, there is this asterisk on that press release that says that it's subject to change and things can go, you know, wherever and and whatnot. And I'm, you know, I'm I understand people being a little annoyed about it. Um, like I said, I'd be, I'd find it inconvenient no matter where it is if I lived on the East Coast. But like the other question is, how many people are literally grinding ring events specifically to enter the Tournament of Champions that they didn't know when the date was, anyways? I mean, how outraged can you get about a free roll changing when? Yeah, the Tournament of Champions. I didn't even know that it existed right when I played the ring events. I think most people probably. I mean, now uh, with this, I'm not always. I'm pre- people pretty sure would know what it is, but I don't. Obviously, I don't think that's the biggest driver as to why people go play ring events. It's just a nice benefit. Yeah, exactly. Like it's a nice extra thing to have, and people. It's like you give someone. It's like it's like one of those examples of you can't give any give. Get, you know, this is why we can't have nice things, right? It's like here's a here's a nice uh, extra promo. It's like oh, it's like, yeah, you're not doing it the way I want you to do it. It's like it was free, man. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> it was free. Did they, verify the, did they verify this is a bracelet for yes. the TOC? Yep, this is a bracelet. Oh, oh man, we're, we're going to give away a bracelet in yep. LA. That's we're awesome. We're giving away uh, a bracelet. Now, um, it's unclear. You know, I was listening on the podcast. So, M- Kevin Mather says this is the first <clears throat> bracelet event outside of LA in US, in the US continent, right? But it was unclear whether the Tournament of Champions has always given away a bracelet, even when it was at those other locations, because then it, mm, then it wouldn't. Uh, yeah. Then it wouldn't be the first time. So we yeah, should ask. Um, I almost. We need to ask Sean. I almost he feel like they, they start. <laughs> mostly like they start making more of a big deal about the TOC right around when I did it. Um, so I don't know if it was something like a little bit different before. Yeah, I think they did change. Like, oh, I think it used to be like yeah. you could accumulate points or something throughout the circuit, and then it became all the winners or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And and Scala, the tournament champions, was never at the bike. Um, yeah, they just had circuit events and they had a, a dumb schedule. Uh, so. <laughs> so uh other people complaining right so we we, we want to poke some fun at mr rampage who's got very upset on behalf of all the other <clears throat> ring winners and bracelet winners he claims he's going to be boycotting this year which i i 
unless he's got something else going on that week, I really doubt. I mean, he'll probably be in town playing Hustler anyways. What, you're really going to boycott? Right. Uh, I, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> It's very strange for Rampage to say because he's a very frequent LA visitor. Yeah. Plays a lot of the, he, the. I'm pretty sure he would find some excuse to come here. So yeah, um, he, maybe he really is that upset about the operational part of it. But I don't know. He plays so much here, like it has to be on principle and not on personal because he plays so much in LA. Now the the yeah. one so that so the one thing that is the timing of the announcement terrible. I agree. It's that sucks for everyone. But that was going to be bad even if it was you know even if they announced it during at the series and they put it like you said if they put it right at the very beginning or right at the very end if i was east coaster i'd still be upset so in my mind that's not that big a deal the thing that is a big yeah. deal and i you know there's nothing we can do about this this is a problem we've had in california forever this year the seven percent tax withheld on players not in california when you cash more than fifteen hundred dollars so i looked it up if you if you get paid or you make more than fifteen hundred dollars in california they automatically withhold seven percent the state does mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that that sucks, but I'm going to come back to it again. This is a free roll. It's becoming a smaller free roll because of the tax if you don't live in California, but it's still a free roll. So, yes, it sucks that they reduced your free roll by 7%. Free roll, right? <laughs> <laughs> free money. Like, yeah. uh, it's not, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it sucks. I mean, you, you ch it changes your, uh, it changes your UV calculation for the mega pros, and if it doesn't make sense, then don't come. Um, now, now, the other thing I will say is that the thing that made it um, convenient at some of these other locations is being Caesars properties. A lot of the really mega grinders, the mega grinders had lots of comps. They could do things free. You know, they could get cheaper rooms, free rooms. I, once again, I'm just I'm just using my example as a uh, a strong, uh, strong regional rec, right? If I lived on the East Coast when I play, I played a ton um, before I moved out here, right? If I had a ring. I didn't have any comp. I didn't go to Vegas that often. There was one Harrah's near me in Philly. We had lots of regional casinos, but no, none of that. And this is the case in a lot of the Midwest place, right? I didn't have any Harrah's comp. So if I'm coming to tournament champions to any of these other locations, I'm paying full price for these hotels. So that doesn't affect the, the, you know, if you want to say like half of these rings, if the argument is like, Oh, what about all these casual people, the people who just want to ring online and they don't play all the time here, there, there, it's not convenient. Well, no place is convenient. I'm not getting free rooms at, at Caesars. You know, if I got my ring from when I lived in Philadelphia mm. and I come out here, everything's still expensive for me. That being said, yeah, if the World Series and Commerce could come up with some promo to help these guys out, like if you come to the Tournament of Champions and your name's on the list, we'll give you two free nights or something. Yeah, something Even like one that. free night. Yeah. I think that would go a long way to building a lot of goodwill. And I think that would, you know, if you give them two free nights, they'll take a week and they'll stay for the tournament champions. I mean, they'll, they'll stay for yeah. the circuit, right? I don't yeah, know. I mean, I, I, I actually think that's not a bad idea for a promo is to just get them here somehow because it, you, I feel like the commerce doesn't care about the TOC. It, it, that's sort of your magnet for them to come play the stuff around it and before it. So yeah, you should probably be trying to attract them here for all the complainers. Also, you know, to Caitlin is making a point in chat that she actually had to pay 7% on the seat that she was awarded. Um, so that's pretty crappy. You know what? I, I almost just feel like, um, you know, anybody who's listening to this show, if you are um, a tax person, a tax attorney, you know, oh, yeah. a, a tax professional, um, I would love for you to write up a little brief thing, maybe tweet it to me or Ty or, you know, post it to our LA Poker Roundup Twitter account or on YouTube and just give a little bit of like an explainer and just, you know, actually tell the pros how they can get their money back right, in, in some sort of whatever it is, right? So just something to reduce that the tax burden of that 7%. It would be great for us to publicly post something like that. And there's also um, Todd from uh, the bike suggested this, like, hey, we should just be handing out like a pamphlet <laughs> to people after they, you know, like this is how, you you know, you can reduce your tax burden on sure. 7%. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing I've heard is that um, Berkey on his, his pod said that he had to demonstrate losses in California when and he could, you know, when he filed later, he filed with <clears> California <throat> and demonstrated losses that took place in California yeah. to get some of that back. Yeah. Which you know, if that was he's anything, got he's got a lot. Yeah, he's got a lot of losses in California. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. If it was any of the years where he got like cre um, wrecked yeah. on live at the bike, then it would have been pretty easy. <laughs> uh -huh. um, some casinos don't do. I'm pretty sure uh, Jesse, if you've given them a, a out of state or out of country ID and they pay you more than fifteen hundred, they have to or they're in big trouble. Um, right. <clears throat> all right. So. Yeah, so that's I mean, th that's that's the one. Like the seven percent and the the timing of it, absolutely terrible. I think they could have done the um, spaced it closer to the the actual World Series. I think 
personally. Um, maybe there there must have been other reasons for that. But you know, other than that, all these reasons people are whining. Oh, the, like why why didn't you put it in Cherokee? Why didn't you do it? like how's that? That's not better. Who cares? Uh, just give it a shot. Something new. Don't whine about LA. I mean, the seven percent is really, in my mind, the only real gripe, which is it's a real gripe. But at the same time, free roll. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, I actually don't. I think I was probably making the same arguments as they are now when we first talked about this. But um, the amount of people complaining about this seems absolutely crazy. And, yeah, uh, it's making me laugh, and I'm I'm having a good time poking fun at them. Oh yeah, <laughs> on the on the Twitter streets. Speaking of. <laughs> Uh, so you trying really hard to needle people actually here. And, um, isn't that fun? Yeah. Isn't that fun? So yeah, we'll just keep using this meme. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got some good stuff. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, but I mean that this, the schedule itself looks just absolutely amazing. I mean, talk about perfect nine to five or schedule. Uh, it, this is just, I mean, honestly, everyone listening who is a poker operator in Los Angeles, please just make your schedules look like this. Yeah. So let's go over the schedule, shall we? Let's go over this thing with a fine tooth yeah. comb. Let's, I love it. Now I was told that actually they were more or less handed this schedule and, um, you know, someone else made this for them and they, you know, this is, this is one weird thing. And one thing we're still a little bit concerned about there's still no TD officially at commerce. Yeah. So I'm not sure how this is all going to run. I mean, it, it helps. It's a circuit event. Maybe the, maybe the world series tournament directors just put everything together and handed it to him and said, Hey, this is what yeah. we do at every other stop. Just do this. You're, you're good to go for now. Yeah. As an aside, it always just feels like everywhere else has these very simple, reasonable schedules that, do exactly what this schedule does but yep. then it's just like la has all these weird landing stuff in the middle yeah. of the week and i just i still even after larry came on and tried to explain it i was like that's not a justification um just do stuff like not this, at guys. all yeah absolutely and this schedule you know i when the bike still had circuit events i was constantly comparing their schedule with all the other ones like every single other stop on the uh on the uh, tour or on the series or whatever, and it just blew my mind. I'm like, they all look so similar. Why is yours so weird? <clears throat> but this is yeah. exact, right? This is exact. So let's go through it. Um, the opening event, right? Friday, May 10th is when this thing kicks off. The first weekend, it's called the housewarming, which I think they called one of their big cheap ones um, at the series a couple years ago. But first event, look at this thing. $600 buy-in, two flights a day, only two starting days, Friday and Saturday. And they say... 500k guarantee this is like you said the room can the room handle this how many people do we need to to get this to go off right um i yeah. and, and i you, mean oh, yeah. you know you know what you know what you know what's what kind of interesting is that before the overflow what just went straight downstairs because those were all the cash game tables but they've replaced all the cash game tables with you know bach or wherever the heck is down there so that is interesting i don't know where they're going to put the overflow this time yeah, and this, so I mean, you're gonna have to walk. You are you gonna walk people over to the freaking gallery or whatever that is over in the the, the hallway? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't <laughs> and know. And that would be pretty shitty. Yeah. I, I almost think they should. I almost think they should clear. They can't because like that's massive. They have a freaking boxing ring in there. But I also feel like they should clear out the tent and have tables ready to go because you can fit more people out there. It would be a terrible experience for everyone traveling in though. So don't do that. Oh, do, don't do, do, that. do, do not do not suggest <laughs> do not suggest the tent tight. Don't do that. That's, I'm just saying if you're gonna like let, I'm I'm gonna pull my calculator out in a minute. But um, here's the structure sheet for the thing. So it's 30 minute levels up to level 19, and then it is 40 minute levels. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. And they have to get to yep. I'm going to do some quick math here. So, um, you know, I would, it would be pretty, you know, without a tournament director there, and then you're going to have an alternate list. Um, I did not love the all, like I, you heard me complaining about the alternate list towards the end of the LAPC mm -hmm. where it was like half the room was empty. You had people yeah. just sitting around waiting for a table. I was just like, what is going on here? Right. Um, kind of almost feels like a DJ was there that may not have happened. I don't know. So I'm really hoping that a, that a TD gets in there and, and make sure that we're operationally okay to handle this. Cause this is going to be a big event, right? Yeah. Um, and if you guys can't handle an alternate line with the, without a TD, we got to, yeah. Yeah. So they're going to need, uh, 970 players to hit this guarantee, which means, you know, 250 per flight. Um, now the, the Friday 11 AM flight might be a little light. So I'm guessing, you know, typically, so they're, they're kind of anticipating typically it's kind of twice as big, right. On the Saturday than Friday, I think maybe. So I, I bet Saturday we could easily see 800 people between the flights. Yeah. 
That's going to be massive, man. People like, you know, we keep saying, oh, it's just, you know, such a tight squeeze. We have a month from now, right, to, for, for this to get promoted. The WSOP um, Twitter account obviously gets a shit ton of traffic, right? So pe people are going to see this. People are going to get spread it out. Obviously, me and Ty are going to do our best to broadcast this as well. Um, but yeah, like that, that's going to be a big, big one. Um, 480. I didn't realize that the room only fit 480. And I really just do wonder what they're going to do for overflow. Yeah. Yeah, because this, you, you, this you, event you, could you, easily you, you get could, that. Yeah, because even if you did overflow, like let's just say that the ballroom is the main and then you did overflow from either the tent outside, which please do not freaking do that commerce, or you just, you know, take up a bunch of those cash game tables in, in that in that all area. Yeah, that high that's stakes quite game a, area is what they should move. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you're going to be hiking people across that casino like all the way upstairs no, no, before I, again. I think they should relocate yes. the high stakes cash tables temporarily for that week. So then you just have to go down the right. stairs. Right, but before that's where they had it. Like the, you would just yeah. be downstairs and it was like maybe six tables and they actually put some outside in the smoking area or something like that. So yeah. like they, they did it before. Uh, but now th this time, if, yeah, if because it's been all replaced with Baccarat tables, I don't know I don't know what you're going to do. But. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, they can move them too, but I don't know if they, you know, I don't know if they'll do that. Um, right. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the schedule and let's take a look. So after, <clears throat> after the... Um, housewarming we have on the schedule coming into Mon Sun uh, oh wait this is on Sunday also so on Sunday is one of, is a seniors event now interestingly enough there are two seniors events on the schedule we have one on Sunday May 12th which is the day two for the housewarming so that's kind of awkward uh, if you didn't make day two and you're a senior you can get into that um, but there's another seniors event let me find it down here Sunday Sunday, Sunday seniors event right here um, on the 19th also Sunday 10 a.m. <laughs> they start the seniors event there's at 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> there's two seniors events there's two seniors events and uh, you know why i believe that this is the case um is because if you notice unfortunately there is no women's event there's no ladies event on the schedule and uh, yeah I, asked, I mean they should have just done a women's event instead of the well i asked amanda about seniors. that right and the reason they didn't and don't and i i would have to look if thunder valley does one is because you know california laws you can't discriminate quote unquote so they don't have any way of creating a ladies event with rules that would prevent men from entering you know how the gardens they always have their women's events that are kind of just like this is a women's event please please don't enter guys um if you recall i went down and i kind of harassed a little bit i just tried to interview all the guys that entered yeah. the uh women's event yeah. last time so there's nothing they can do and i guess they're you know i would be i understand they'd be really terrified if a man won a ring or a bracelet in a ladies event that the, pe the press mean, for that would be so bad. Oh, yeah, I don't. I, I I'm pretty sure you're saying it. Not s super convinced about these reasonings as to why it just feels like an overcautious interpretation of whatever the heck the laws are. But um, I feel like you could have just ran it and then just put some you know pressure on the men not to play. Yeah, um, well, I offered to Amanda. Yeah. I said, hey, look, if you wanna if you wanna put that back on the schedule, um, I said I volunteered us to to set up a booth next to Reg and to interview and live stream and and you know put on blast every guy that wanted to enter to see if we could uh keep them from coming in but yeah she said no i mean there, there's also like the, there's also like the ladies night you know kind of pricing right where um you, you just kind of do the same thing as bars do for ladies night right well, right but is, i don't uh, can you do that in california because the gardens doesn't i do mean that. i feel like i I feel like they do have. I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's a good thing we have to look into because I feel like they do have ladies nights in California, and if they do, it's the literal same law here, right? Because then you're just charging less for women yeah. to play, right? So but you make I, it a 10k event, and then have women buy in for for 1k, right? Yeah. If once again, those same. If there's a lawyer out there who knows this stuff, I feel like California can't do that anymore. And um, Caitlin, mm. the Gardens did have a ladies event, but five men entered it, so there's you know there's nothing they could do. Um, Two of them said they entered it on an accident. They were like the first two registered. They didn't realize. Another guy is just kind of a, a jerk. Um, I don't know about the others. <laughs> yeah, Skull makes a good point. Give women double the stack or something. Yeah, something. I mean. Um, yeah, but once again, yeah, just, I, I don't yeah. know the laws. California is so progressive, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there are two seniors events on the schedule. Uh, interestingly enough, the first time um, we see on the schedule, there's a 45-minute break after level 16. I don't know what time of day level 16 is going to be. So it starts at 10 a.m. That's that's for, that's for the housewarming? No, this is the, the senior event. The housewarming oh, has the no event. such big breaks. The seniors event has Good. a 45-minute break after 16. And this is something I'm going to bring up. I'm, I'm... 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with dinner breaks. Well, I don't need to. Then so, yeah. well, uh, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that thought. Uh, it's something I wish that, uh, you know, I hope we could still change because this is LA. We don't do dinner breaks in LA, right? Yeah, yeah. just don't do it. We them. don't want yeah. dinner breaks in LA. Get them out of here. You're allowed to eat at the, at the commerce tables, but we'll come back to that in a second. The other event that starts on Sunday is the mystery bounty. So there's a mystery bounty, 100K guarantee, a two day ring event. It's an 1100 buy in. Um, this one is, I mean, for me, I still don't really love. 100k guarantee mystery bounties they still seem a little small to me like the that means that your mystery bounties your big bounty is going to be what 20k at most probably 10k will be your big bounties it just doesn't feel like you're going to get that press but some people love mystery bounties i'm, I, I'm, I'm going to be skipping that I, one. I think we have to challenge the assertion that mystery boundaries are so popular because i feel like we keep saying that but every single operator now is just pushing these mystery bounties out into the middle of the week so i think maybe they're not as popular as we think or maybe they think they're so popular they can put them in the middle of the week and get numbers mm, I, that's true I don't know. that's true yeah but for me i yeah. just don't think they're that popular if if the number's not eye-popping anyways but that's that's right. number three <clears throat> um mystery bounty there's two day ones on that it's an 1100 event um event number four is pot limit omaha that's a two-day event here. Um, this is only one one starting day, though. So for mixed game, there's now for the mixed game players, there's not a ton of mixed game events on the schedule, unfortunately. Um, so that that's that's unfortunate. So sorry. We, we, we didn't want Kathy, we didn't we didn't want Kathy walking out of this with ten rings. So I think it's probably okay. <laughs> well, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, she's been talking about. She said, "Oh, at least there's these two events on here." But <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, win, I'll just win these two. Yeah, there's not a lot. There's Pot Limit Omaha. Here's one of them. It's at four o'clock on Monday. It's a six hundred dollar event. Um, then on Tuesday they have the Monster Stack. That's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar guarantee with two starting flights. And it is a $400 entry. So for a $400 entry, it's a pretty good value. 150 k guarantee on a $400 entry. Two starting flights. Monster. Are you going to take us? Are you going to take some time off for that one, Ty? I'm going to take some time off. But honestly, I think I might take some time off during the, the more high roller week. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure I'm going to take that one off. But if you take a look, here's the monster stack. It has a 60-minute break built in at level 12. Yeah. So... What I want to point out is for a lot of these tournaments, not the housewarming, but a lot of these other tournaments on the schedule have dinner breaks. So, you know, Good. buckle up. All right. Are you share, Are you sharing your screen, Ty, by the way? Uh, out there, not not with you. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Oh, you are out there. Okay, I, don't, I don't see it on the stream, but it's okay. Oh, it wasn't? Yeah. Anyway, skip it. It's been... Uh, I don't... I don't... All right. Hey, chat, if you haven't seen the schedule or the structure sheets, um, chime up. I've had them on... I feel like I've had them on the screen for the last five minutes. Um, hmm. Okay. So yeah, so the monster stack that's going to be good value, four hundred dollars. Uh, it's Tuesday and Wednesday, so it is in the middle of the week. It, and uh, yeah, so if you if you can if you have the time off, that's a great one. And then starting on Thursday, May sixteenth, that's the main event. So that's a big one. Wayne said they would be of course, streaming. Of course, oh, good. of course, they landed the main event on Lisa's birthday on the nineteenth. Oh you know, no! It's all good. <laughs> well, you'll just have to get she, her a ring. She, she's all good about it though, but I mean, it's just uh, yeah. pretty, pretty sucky. Just tell her sucky you're going to get her a ring for her birthday. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Wayne said they'd be streaming at least two ring events. I have to think this is one of them. So there are three starting flights, $1,700 buy in. Uh, it is a 1 million guarantee. So this is very similar with just a couple fewer, just a couple fewer. Um, uh, a, a couple fewer starting flights than the 1200 that commerce ran that we got up to 1.7 million. So in this being a ring event and having a bigger buy-in, I am extremely hopeful. And you know, Derek, Derek's extra, Derek is so bullish on this, right? Didn't you? 3.5. I said, yeah. said 3.5. Yeah. And you know why? Cause they're running landmark megas, right? Um, I, you know, don't look at me start at me finding out that the bike one K doesn't have, me, uh, um, satellites. I, I yeah, was, no I was shocked satellites. yesterday. Um, that's crazy for, for something of this, but you know, obviously like the, 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 yeah, this is going to get a lot of people into this tournament. I'm super excited about this one. Yep. So here's the structure for the main event. Um, it looks, you know, it looks pretty good. 40 minute levels on what looks like day one. Yep. Hour levels thereafter. Uh, unfortunately, a, a dinner break. I mean, come on, get rid of the dinner break guys. You can get in another level. Uh, yeah. So let's just, let's just pull some numbers. Okay. So for the, for the guarantee itself. They need to get 660 players over the three days, so they need to average 220 entries a day. So how much? So you're saying that this will get three over three million. So you're saying this is going to get over 
1,900 entries, right? So yes. 1 million is 660. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that you say it like that, it, it sounds crazy, but I was basing this off of the fact that um, the bike main that was a circuit event back in 2019 had cleared over three. It was like 3.5 or something like that. Okay. But maybe that was a 5K. Maybe maybe, maybe that's why. I don't, I don't remember what, what the line for that was. 5K, that but... would make sense for sure. Yeah, Jesse, they don't no, have no, a new no, tournament no. director yet. No one's been no one's been tapped and no one's been announced, so... Uh, it says the circuit yeah, in they, Vegas they had definitely, two seniors in, in addition to ladies. Okay. Yeah, they definitely need to get an operations head it person for a TD um, yeah. before this thing gets started 100%. And it's too unfortunate, too, because I feel like we were trying to get an operations person from the commerce on, onto the show, and they didn't make it, but this would have been a very good discussion. But hopefully um, we can get them on the show within the next couple of weeks so we can talk through some of these details to see what what's going on over there. Yeah, for sure. I think they got it's a little lucky for them that this is the circuit because a lot of what the, uh, the tournament directors seem to have been doing was doing a lot of marketing promotion, getting the schedule set up, right. Getting the structure set mm -hmm. up and the world series seems like they're just providing all of that for them. So. Yeah. Right. I mean, they just need the operations to run now, like, um, you know, figure out your overflow situation, figure out your alternate situation, right. And all that stuff. Uh, Jesse's saying mm -hmm. that, uh, Daniel told them they have a TD now, so we need to just keep pressing to get the information. Hmm. I mean, to land a TD at the Commerce Casino, which is probably still our premier um, card room in LA, even with everything that's going on, you know, between the bike. But um, yeah, that, I yeah, I, I'm interested to see who they, who they get landed for that one. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be big news when we find out who it is. We'll definitely try and get get a hold of them and talk to that person. Um, okay, so the main event, like you said, day two is going to be on Sunday. On Sunday, there's that other seniors event, and then there's also a two d d d d a eleven hundred, which is a two day ring event. It looks like there's only one day one for that, so that will be a good one. Eleven hundred buy in three p.m. start time ends on Monday. Uh, then on Monday we have a six max no limit hold'em four hundred dollars entry. So that's cool. Six max on the schedule. It's a pretty cheap one too, which is interesting because usually the only uh, usually yeah. the lower buy-in <laughs> players don't want to play six max. So that's very that's interesting. interesting too because you, usually they have higher ones right after their main events b to keep those people around. Especially if you have the TOC, you mm -hmm. know, like in between, like you definitely could have raised the prices well, on these. Not the end of the world, but but I I did want to like basically when you look at that Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. So this is day two of the main event. And they are, and then also on Saturday, which is a big day one, they have a one day. And then on Sunday, they have another one day for the seniors. And then they also have a two day. This is how you stack things, right? So like, again, we're having the discussion about, people. you know, it's so popular to have one days. You can still have freaking one days, you know, kind of like designing it like this, right? So they're starting that one day at 4 p.m. after a lot of people bust out of the main event. So you have room in the room to go do it. Anyways, I just, I don't know, just guys, just please follow. This is the, one of the most, when I when I comment on this and saying this is one of the most sensible schedules I've seen, this is how the schedules look everywhere else, right? Yeah. Except for Los Angeles. So just just follow these. No, you're absolutely right. And I, you know, I actually had kind of glossed over that when I read the schedule. It, my eyes went right by those 4 p.m. ring events. Now those are turbos. Yeah. But because they're turbos, they're cheaper $400 entries, and the $400 entry is such a different, such a different price range from the $1,700. You know, it's a different, it's a different target, right? Like that $400 price range really kind of targets the daily players who want to bump up a little to get a ring. Yes. And that $20, they'll, they'll go, they'll, they'll go for a turbo for sure. And the and they'll pay a little extra to, for because it's a ring event, and the 20 yeah. minute levels is what daily players are used to. So it's not like you're gonna get. Yeah. a lot of complaints because the people coming down from the 1700 will understand this is cheaper it's 20 minutes and the people coming up from the dailies are used to it right yeah i really hope the bike is just going to pay attention to what's happening here and they're going to follow the data right because it was still sh I, I, I harping on this still shocking to me they didn't run satellites for the 1k are you not paying attention to what the other rooms are doing for their 1ks and how they're getting these huge fields right obviously they're coming from satellites so look at this one if the bike runs a $400 one day that starts at 11 a.m. in the morning, right, and gets 150K. I think this ring event is probably going to clear 200 right, for a turbo in the afternoon. So just just 
like please pay attention to what's happening and then kind of you know like maybe challenge your assertions on on, on how you're scheduling things yeah and uh on the schedule here they're running those megas every night starting the day before the first day one and they run it uh, that mega every night until you no longer would be able to enter the main so that's great yeah and right you know people you don't have to be afraid to run a turbo at night you know if people no it's fine. It's at night. We don't want to stay up until 5 a.m. It's fine. It, it, it's We're yeah. okay with this. <laughs> and, and you know what? Like I'm going to tell you right now, the, those one-day fields are packed with people who are just playing out of their minds anyway. They don't care if they're starting 300 big blinds deep. They're you know 10x raising and just trying to pile all their chips in. They, like, they, they play it constantly as if it were turbo anyway. So just yeah. give them a freaking turbo. Yeah, it's people like me and Rob and, and Paul and uh like stefan we just want to build up our stacks and fire again and get in there man let's go (laughs) yeah um okay so after this event right so then like i said there's that six max uh then there is the there's another four hundred dollar one day ring event so that's probably another turbo three o'clock on monday but then at 6 p.m on monday starts the high roller no limit so they're trying to get people who bust out of um Oh, actually, no, that, that event's totally done. So the high roller starts at 6 p.m. on Monday, which is interesting to me, but that's the $2,200 buy-in. It's a two-day event, and that would be possibly one of the ones they may stream if you ask me, but maybe they'll pick a bigger event. We'll see. Uh, so that goes on through till Tuesday. The double stack, there's there's two final events that day. There are one-day ring events, the double stack, and the um, 3 p.m. one, which looks like if it starts at 3, that must be a turbo as well. Let me check the structure. That's a $600 30k guarantee so these these later one days could be great ways to try and bunch your ticket to the tournament champions to be honest yeah I mean, they're gonna I'm be a little surprised at the yep that's a turbo they... i'm a little surprised at the high roller the high roller starting at 6 p.m yeah that was a little feels odd very late i yeah, but it is a two-day event i suppose yeah yep uh so they're gonna play nine levels on day one so but you know what though um honestly 6 p.m is a good start time for uh Nine of fibers. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, not so, five. Like I, I, uh, yeah, I, I can, I can basically work all day. Skip the six max, six, skip that three p.m. one day event, um, and then show up for the high roller at six p.m., which is nice. Uh, that is going to be a very crowded day because I mean, six max takes up more tables, and then you're going to run a three p.m. one day. Well, I guess it's a Monday, so maybe that's okay. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a um, Monday. I, I, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be um, interested in what the overflow situation is going to look like with that bottom. Yep. And then after that, so Tuesday, May 21st is the official end of the circuit. But then on Wednesday, May 22nd begins the Tournament of Champions. And the Tournament of Champions, yeah. I don't know why it says 1,200 on the right, but <laughs> is there a rebuy if you're in and you and you bust? Uh, yeah, I saw that too. Like, what does that mean? Is that a buy-in? Can you buy into the 1,200? Can you can you rebuy? Or, 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 or actually, you know what? This could be one of those things that's like a stupid California thing. They're like, you have to put... <laughs> Right, like, what the is the value? Your, right. So that one, we're cash. gonna grab seven percent. We're gonna grab seven percent of fucking something. So, put well, your, put your. Well, no, that should in. be what they reduce it by. I don't know when you. Uh, I don't know. I don't see anything yeah. on the structure sheet that mentions twelve hundred. So, that's. Yeah, I, I, I this, this really just feels like a California regulation yeah. thing. Like you can't run a freaking free roll or something. This entry, is so stupid. The structure this, sheet this entry fee is zero and open to winners. Uh, blah blah. Start yeah. so. When it gets closer, um, we'll look up more details. But that's an interesting that's an interesting little side thing that it says that. So um, yeah. Oh, but also pay attention to those mega satellites from the main event package uh, going on at the same time. So definitely get out there for that because uh, you know we would all love uh, main event package. Yep. Where, for the World Series of Poker. That. So let's yeah let's close out with um, going over some of the details on that right. So. This is that promo we've been talking about, or that uh, we mentioned briefly oh, oh, before. Yeah. yeah, this is the this one you're talking not, about. Oh no, actually, no, no, actually, no. This is what it is. It's uh, I think we we're misreading the schedule. So you go back. It's two p.m. There's a mega satellite for the main event, and that's a twelve hundred dollar mega satellite. That's what the twelve hundred dollars is. It's not for the tournament. Of champions. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yep. You got it. So during the tournament champions, yeah. they're running World Series main Omega, event, Omega actual Saturday. main event yeah. satellites. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Get out there for that one. That that's that's gonna be good. Uh, yep. Yeah. I will definitely be there for that Friday one. A hundred percent. Yep. You know, yep. unless I win this promo, which is happening right before <laughs> the, the series. The, the, the cash game grinder promo. The cash game grinder promo. Yeah. So commerce has this cool promo to become a commerce poker pro, and the way they set it up, it sounds like they want um to create pros out of some of their most loyal cash game players, which is. 
commendable, but are your best cash game players going to be the ones you want to send to a tournament? I don't know. If you're going to send them to a tournament, though, it might as well be the main event. Yeah, I mean, I I think they're trying to basically get more traffic to cash. So you know what? At this point, that is the least egregious thing I've ever heard out of all the things that are happening in LA. So fine, run your promo for cash game players. Great. Yeah, and it's it's a hard one. You have to get a hundred hours. A hundred hours is not easy. That's like that's that's like thirty hours a weekend or something. Like uh, twenty. It's like twenty two or twenty three hours a weekend for for us who work. So I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, we're gonna be over there at Commerce next week doing commentary. You know, I'll go early. I'll get I'll get some hours in. Maybe I'll hop out. We'll see how it looks after a week or two. Um, but let's let's go over this. If you can do this and you qualify, first off, they're giving away twenty packages. So twenty packages are twenty. 20 winners of a basically a satellite style tournament that you will qualify for. And here's what you win. You win, it says $30,000 value, which is, you know, basically just all in entry fees and $5,000 in cash here. So you win $10,000 main seat for this year. You win $5,000 in cash. You win an entry mm-hmm. into six of these circuit events, right? Uh, 138, 13, 16, 18. Okay. So you get entry into the housewarming. Uh, you get entry into the mystery bounty. You get entry into the main event. You get entry into uh, this 1100. You get entry into the high roller, and you get entry into the closer. It looks like you know. So what? The the th- thirty thousand closer. That's insane. I'm no. I'm just saying you get entries into all of those things. Yeah. That's yep. Insane. Yep. So that alone is worth around five grand. So <laughs> I mean, just in entry fees. Then you, you get. Entry- you know what? Like. Oh, good, good. Oh, good. I was just gonna say you get entry into yeah, six know. more events in November because they're gonna run another circuit event, and I have to think it's gonna be an what? equal, an equal type of entries. That's crazy. So I mean, we, we we've been saying for a while, like you know, obviously me and Ty are not cash game players, but it feels like you know, for what we're hearing through the grapevine, is that the cash games are sort of dying in LA, and that they're just really moving to these private games, and the private games are kind of super sketchy. So you know what? Anything that gets the cash game ecosystem up and running even if me and ty aren't involved great that's great for poker absolutely right? even if none of those players come and play tournaments i don't i don't care right let's just, let's just get let's get that the, the cash the cash games humming again at the commerce casino um this is going to get a lot of people to come and i'm pretty sure a lot of the pros that are just stuck playing private games right now are going to come out and, and start playing just to catch all these <laughs> these cash game players at the commerce so good good for them yep and jesse says he's going to get in there and grind it 30 hours a week and uh, Ace Johnson says he already plays 40 hours a week there, so these guys will be there at that table for sure. And here's the thing: 100 hours yeah. is a lot. And if those ca- if they if the cash game players really say I'm not playing any tournaments, I don't even care. This thing, this free roll, might not be that well attended. Like this could end up being, you know, as far as free rolls go, you might end up with better than a one in ten chance of cashing easily still. So that's huge, right? And this isn't even yeah, hundred hours is hard to yeah. get. That's hard to get, man. Yeah, if you're not, if you have a job, it's really hard to get. Um, the so we're not even done with what you get though, right? So also selected entries into regular weekend tournaments like dailies. So I guess they'll just give you a couple entries into the dailies throughout the years here at Commerce. Um, you get a, there's a party they're going to have where you and a guest get to come to their party and then they're going to give you some nice. merchandise, you know, maybe some, some hats or hoodies or something, you know? So not bad, not bad. Now, yeah, not bad at all. Yep. So the way it works is you play, once you get to a hundred hours, you can, you're in, you get 10,000 chips for this tournament. And if you get to 125 to 149 hours, you get 25,000 chips. And if you get over 150 hours, then you get 45,000 chips. Now, if you are in the tournament, um, you can rebuy. Once you're in, you can rebuy, and you can rebuy twice. Two hundred fifty dollars to get ten k chips again. So if you can only barely scrape up to the hundred, this is probably your strategy. You're gonna be firing in there, rebuying, firing in there to get some chips. If you get over one hundred fifty hours, though, you're in good spot. You're gonna start with four hundred forty five thousand compared to the ten thousand all these one hundred hours guys have. So, you know, um, there is. Let's see. Here's the other thing that's interesting. If you do win that the the World Series seat that you win, they're going to choose the day that you have to play. It's probably fine. They're paying ten grand for you to go in, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think other than that, yeah. Oh, they choose the day that you yeah go they, play. they'll pick because everyone who wins through this is going to play on the same the, day. I mean. Yeah, everyone wants the last the last day, so I guess they they probably don't want to pile all these winners into the last day, right? If they have yeah. any kind of deal to get anything 
cheaper or whatever. They probably I mean, like honestly, like like the last day, I think it's like one D gets its own day two. Like all the other days combined into one day two, and then the last day gets its own day two. <laughs> yeah. So that's how big that last day typically is. Yeah. 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 I played the last day last time, and we were very afraid it was gonna go ten handed, but nope. Yeah, um, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that is that is this that's this three roll. I mean, holy cow! Like it's hard to do, and then you have to win that tournament, or you have to rather finish in the top twenty. You know, but. It's but gonna man, be the tough. The rewards, man. That's some. That's some loot. That yeah, is some loot. If you're a tournament player, it's literally thirty thousand in value. Like they said, you know. So let's go for yeah. it. Let's go. Yeah. All right, yeah. man. Well, I'm excited. This is huge. These announcements are huge. I'm excited to play poker, man. I'm tempted. Like, yeah. Uh, wow. Well, I just want to take the whole month off and do here. everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the World Series coming back here. Um, we have so much good stuff happening in LA finally, like over to the, the next like couple of months, right? And then going right into the World Series yeah. in the summer. So it's going to be great. Um, do your best to stay in action, I right? Know, Protect right. those bankrolls. Exactly. There's going to be a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. Um, but yeah, like this is this is fantastic. You may have to budget kudos out. Kudos to the congressman. You may have to yeah. budget out your next couple months the way you do when you go to the series because we've got this weekend the 1100 <laughs> exactly. going. In two more weeks, yeah. you have the Mini Mega, which is a 12. 1400 it's a 1400 and then i think roughly two weeks after that is when the gardens run its first 1100 in its spring series and then they added the encore where two weeks after that they're gonna have another 1100 and then a week after that is when the circuit kicks off so holy cow i'm this is great i i feel like this is this is this is my world series i love this yeah, this is this is the worst time for me to have a, a downswing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you're gonna have to sell my, some of that my, stock, man. You're gonna have to sell it, some it, of that in it, it, that Microsoft. I, I might have to, <laughs> I might have to sell some Microsoft stock to, to, to play some of these tournaments. But um, <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Like again, kudos to the commerce. We've been saying so much that it really feels like we're under investing, but now it looks like the commerce is turning the ship around. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I would love to get that operations person. If you're listening to this or man is listening to this, let's get that operations person on because we would love to hear yep. um some of those details of what's happening who's the new tournament director what are we thinking about in terms of overflow for these series right and what's what's going to happen going forward love to have somebody official on just like we just had larry on um speaking for the bike uh last episode yep for sure and they've they've got they're getting the buzz hopefully we get the people and then the last thing is they need yeah. to they need to make sure that this is a great experience you know they have they have yeah. to make sure yeah. this is a great experience for yeah. everyone that comes you know especially for everyone that comes not you know us regulars if it's great, we're still going to be a lot of the regulars will still be a we're little here. bit grumpy, like, oh yeah, well, I remember it was in a tent. Yeah. You know, I hate that sucked. But like, you can't, you cannot have the people that travel here have a bad experience. Yeah. They got to love it. They got to go out and tell everyone to come. Player growth, right, is uh, half acquisition, half retention, yeah. right? It's going to cost you twice as more um, to actually retain, you know, after you lose somebody to get them back. Um, so this is why you need to definitely make sure, um, you know, I've, We've done the research for you. We put all the complaints that our players have had. Um, we probably want to reach out to, to some of the people that are traveling here to see what are the things that kind of keep them up at night and make sure that we're, we're, we're handling those before they get here because you definitely want to, to – we have a huge opportunity here, right? We finally got a ring event. We finally got a circuit event, you know, here. Um, so as these players come, let's make sure this is the best experience and they would want to come back and play other events of the commerce and the bike even when, when circuit events are not going on, right? That's how we grow the game. Absolutely. All right, man. Well, I think uh, it's time. I think you got to get heading over to the bike. and uh, I do. I'm going to go grab myself a little bit of breakfast and be, be prepared to get my face punched again for another couple of hours. <laughs> and I, let's, and let's I got to go, hopefully let's. That's all my aces hold up today. <laughs> and I got to get and I got to get uh to work on our on our interview for Miss Maria Ho. With Maria Ho. Yeah, yeah we we got and I got a big week coming up. We got Maria Ho in the show. We got um cash game stream that we're going to be commenting on next week so we got a lot of prep happening, but yeah. hopefully we see all you guys uh on on the podcast and on the stream. Yep, absolutely. So, all right guys, thanks for tuning in so early. I saw it looks like we got up to 20 folks, so awesome. And uh nice. good luck Thank out you, there. Thank hopefully you. Derek and everyone we'll see you out there i'm still not sure if i'm going to head out to some of these daily tournaments today or not but if so uh we will see